Texas? Tommy. That's what we're going to show you right now. Looks something like this. Out of a basic, I've been turned in. That's the Texas Tommy. I've been turned out. We've now switched places. And Kevin now has brought me back to close. So it's obviously a little bit more complicated of a move. It requires that you've learned several of the previous moves to, get, to be ready for it. Yes, so specifically the Texas Tommy is starting in a cross hand position. So we have a right hand shake. And then from here, Kevin brings me in. Forward, and now I relax my arm, and we have a dynamic frame. Our fingers are active, but our arms are relaxed, and I'm asking Joe to break frame. So from here, my arm rolls behind my back. Because she let me. There's a big difference between forcing somebody to do something and then suggesting. So the handhold, if we were to maintain connection, looks like this. So it's just brought up behind my back, and I've actually pushed into my own body, so the weight's not pulling up across, but it's actually pushing down, uh, preferably low, if that's more comfortable. Leaders, I'm thinking about pushing into Joe and connecting that way rather than doing any weird, awkward pulls. This is a really potentially uncomfortable and arresting position for position. your follow. So then when we um, lead our follow out, I push into Joe, relax the arm, keep the fingers attached, and then we're able to come right back to our open position. All right, now sometimes, if I'm slick enough when we're in this open position, I will change hands right away, but sometimes I maintain this hand position and lead another move. All right, so now let's show this with the footwork. So from once you get to this cross hand position, if you did a send out, on the end of the send out, I could just change into my right hand. or on the end of the send out, I could lead a pass by, and on the end of the pass by, I can change hands. So at one point or the other leader, you just need to change hands. It's slicker if you do it with the pass by. No one really sees that coming. Fair enough. So now from here, leaders, I'm going to lead that rock step, which is going to be rotational, of yes. course, because that prepares Joe to turn. Rotate, step, step, and I get Joe into that Apache Texas Tommy position which happens quite quickly. So if you see it from this angle, from the rotational rock step, rock step, there it is. Do you see how I went down? I went straight down and relaxed the arm, and because Joe's already rotating and I stay connected with the fingers, that's what flips Joe's arm behind her back. And again, fellas, I just want to try to connect low to my body so that it's there and it's in position, and then the leaders feel like they can still connect to me instead of my arm continuing to move. So just using the step-step footwork, rock step, 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 now I tend to pick up Joe's free arm. She's here just ready for me. Um, and since follows, I don't know exactly what's going on. I've prepared my left arm uh, to keep a good sense of frame. So in case Kevin needs to use this hand, my left hand, then he doesn't need to use my right hand, which is behind my back. So now I can go rock, step, step, release, rock, step, 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 and we're back to open position, which is great. Oh, fantastic. So let's show it with our triple step footwork. All right. So we have, let's do it from this side again, because that's a great angle. We have a rock step, a triple three step, four, a triple five, step, a rock One, step, two, triple step, four, five, triple step, six. rock step, triple three step, four, five, triple step. Six. Excellent. So right. again, make sure that you're working on your rotational energy on this, uh, leaders, with your rock step. That's mostly where the rotation is going to come from. And then from there, follows just kind of follow your arm and try to stay balanced. 